All righty. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call the regular meeting of Mayor and Council of the Borough of Glassboro for February 13th, 2024, to order. Karen, could you please read the opening statement? Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, I hereby announce that adequate notice of this meeting, as required by said act, has been provided by adopting a schedule of regular meetings for the year 2024 which schedule was posted on the Borough Hall Bulletin Board, as well as the Borough website, and forwarded to both the South Jersey Times and the Sentinel of Gloucester County, and filed with the Borough Clerk on January 6, 2024. Thank you. Can we all rise and salute the flag, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Karen, roll call, please. Mayor Wallace? Here. Mr. Brown? Here. Mr. Casabon? Present. Mrs. Garlick? Here. Mr. Halter? Yes. Ms. Miller? Here. Mrs. Spence? Here. Mr. Melandro? Here. Mr. Scafidi? Present. Mr. Brunimer? Here. Thank you. Uh, at this time, we have a presentation this evening. Uh, so I'll step down from the dais. So it is my honor tonight to uh, recognize again another group of our young people, our young Glassboro Bulldogs this evening. Uh, this evening it will be our marching band. And our marching band this year uh, were the champions of the Cavalcade of Band. Um, and I'm going to be talking. <laughs> and having been in a marching band when I was in high school and attending a, a competition like this, um, I understand how intense it is and the amount of work it, it, that goes into and practice that goes into. Uh, what you all have to do, and you should very much be congratulated. So what I have done is I have written a letter to all of you, all of you band members, and I will present each and every one of you, but the letter reads this. Greetings. It is my pleasure to recognize you today as a member of the Glassboro High School Marching Band 2023 Cavalcade of Bands Independent A Division State Champions. Winning this competition is no easy task. It is through hard work, dedication to your craft, and pride in yourself and each other that has made you a champion. You are a shining star to your school and to Glassboro. On behalf of myself and the Borough of Glassboro, congratulations on your 2023 championship season. Go Bulldogs. With respect, Johnny Walsh the third. Mayor. So I'd like to call you up each individually, one by one, which is what individually means. <laughs> um, I apologize in advance if I butcher any of this. Uh, Brianna Alaves, Christian Dahman. Well done. 
Sophia Dunka. H. Ehrenberg. Congratulations. Well done. Rain Fowler. Andrew Holland. Jonathan Noor. Cassidy Cox. Casey O'Connor. Katie Olson. No, you stay right there. <laughs> Way to go, Mayor. Yeah, good, good job, Mayor. <laughs> Madison Olson. Congratulations. Well done. Lenny Palmer. Maya Pankos, Pankos. Lucky Perino. Very nice, congratulations. Bella Propico. Connor Ritter. Alexander Sabalina. Maxwell Smith. Well done. Concepcion Soriano. Lindsay Townsley. Congratulations. Well done. Samantha Tran. Here we go. <laughs> Yoma Ufomba. <laughs> How bad did I push that up? <laughs> Good job. Ijama? Ijama was how you say your last name. Ijama Ufomba. I apologize. Good try. I tried. Leilana Wallace. Give me that last name, right? And Ellie Whitaker.
I knew that, that was a tough one. And I was aware of it too. That's, That's why. Tough, dude. I'd have struggled with it too. Yeah. I'd have never made it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm telling you, band people stick together. <laughs> yeah. That didn't get too fast. Okay, we will continue on with our meeting, uh, and at this time, I'll turn the meeting over to our borough solicitor. Thank you, Mayor. We have a number of public hearings this evening, beginning with ordinance number 2402, an ordinance amending chapter 445, vehicles and traffic, by adding a new section to be entitled Parking on Library Municipal Parking Lot to be located at 58 North Main Street of Council moves for the public portion. Will the public portion be open? Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. The floor is now open to anyone from the public who wishes to come forward and address this proposed ordinance. Say no, I'll make a motion to close the public portion and adopt this ordinance as written. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Costco? Yes. Ms. Garland? Yes. Mr. Halter? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Spence? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, next we have a uh, public hearing on ordinance 2403, an ordinance amending the water and sewer manual of the code of the borough of Glassboro, again, if council moves for a public portion. Move the public portion be open. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. The floor is now open to anyone from the public who wishes to address this proposed ordinance. Say none, I'll make a motion to close the public portion and adopt this ordinance as written. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Costello. Yes. Mrs. Garland. Yes. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Yes. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. All right, our next public hearing is ordinance number 2404. An ordinance amending ordinance number 2324, which adopted a redevelopment plan amendment to the third amendment to the Glassboro Central Business District and nearby environs development plan, a plan for the revitalization of the East High Street area for the purposes of the redevelopment of Block 40, lots 1, 2, 3, 4.02, and 13, Block 44, lots 20 and 21, Block 44, lots 22. 0.03, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 26.01, the project area in the borough of Glassboro, County of Gloucester, State of New Jersey. Again, if council moves for the public portion. Move the public portion be open. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Floor is now open to anyone from the public who wishes to come forward and address this proposed ordinance. 
Say no, make a motion to close the public portion and adopt this ordinance as written. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Costello. Yes. Mrs. Garlick. Yes. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Scott. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Mayor. And our final public hearing is on Ordinance 2405, an ordinance authorizing execution of Second Amendment to lease option agreement between the between Summit City Solar LLC and the Borough of Glassboro. Again, Council Moves Public Portion. Move the public portion be open. Second. We have a motion and second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. The floor is now open to anyone from the public who wishes to come forward and address this proposed ordinance. Say no, I'll make a motion to close the public portion and adopt this ordinance as written. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Costello. Yes. Mrs. Scarlett. Yes. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. Uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of January 9th, 2024, as well as the closed executive session of January 9th, 2024. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Uh, Karen, can you take us through our communications, please? Yes, Mayor. I have a letter of resignation. Um, from Stacy Ferrero, who was who was our director of the Samaritan Center of Glassboro Food Bank. Make a motion to accept this letter and thank her for the years of service. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Uh, I will ask for committee reports now and begin with Council President Miller. Uh, Mayor, I am in receipt of the highway report. Thank you very much. Uh, Councilman Brown. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I'd just like to personally congratulate the 2023 Glassboro High School Marching Band. That was absolutely fantastic, their accomplishment. And I have nothing to report, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Councilman Casabone. Yes, thank you, Mayor. I also would like to congratulate the 2023 Glassboro High School Marching Band on their achievement. Um, it's an excellent achievement. I know there's great competition, and we stood out. And I know as a councilman, I'm, I'm proud of all the, all the band members and all the students of Glassboro. That's right. Thank you very much. Uh, Councilwoman Garlic. Um, hello, Mayor. I would like to just report on the park and rec report. I just want to mention a couple things that mm -hmm. was um, there in the report that the seniors went to the Academy of Music as well as to Mathis House. Um, they do have a trip planned to Italy. And then we have our travel basketball season is going great. And the track and field T-ball registration is open. And flyers have gone out to all of the schools for any young people interested. And that's all I have. Thank you very much. Very nice. Uh, Councilman Halter. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Good evening. Um, also, I want to congratulate the Glassboro High School Marching Band to a job well done and a season well done. Uh, I want to echo your words as well, Mayor, and I know what it, that takes directly from doing the marching band years ago. Uh, so that is a huge accomplishment to all of them there. So uh, as far as the water and sewer department goes, uh, the department is moving forward in uh, the lead pipe replacement. Uh, for those of you that are newer to our audience here tonight, the state of New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection issued a uh, memorandum to all municipalities that they have to replace all lead pipes in the in the municipality that are serviced to the residents. Um, we did not have any lead pipes in our properties or in our properties here, but the state of New Jersey also defined lead as galvanized pipes, so we've been replacing all galvanized services to the properties. Uh, we're moving forward to try to get that done as fast as possible along the Dusty Drive corridor. So they've been uh, making leaps and bounds at that. We've had a few new. Uh, Still have one new position uh, available. I'm sorry, still have a position available, and we've had a couple of people go through our CDL program, which, if anybody's not familiar, is much more difficult than it was and massively more expensive than it was before. So uh, that is all I have to say. Thank you very much, sir. And Councilwoman Spence. Thank you, Mayor. I would also like to congratulate the marching band and looking forward to having them participate in our Jasper Memorial Day parade again this year. I'm sure it'll be fantastic as always. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted to say that I'm in receipt of the code enforcement and uh, zoning reports for the month, and that's it, Mayor. Thank you very much. 
Uh, we have no unfinished business, no new business on the agenda this evening, so I'll ask for the engineer's report, please, Mark. Yes, good evening. Uh, just a brief update uh, for the townhouse construction over the work. Again, we want uh, both sections are moving quickly. Uh, homes are going up on the, those aspects. We are starting to issue some TCO, uh, getting through plan of those. So that's moving likewise. High Street townhouse is done at East, East High Street. All the structures are done. Uh, so yeah, it's three or four buildings finished and uh, complete the sale. That'll be wrapped up and they'll be in the paving probably sometime in the summer to dedicate everything to a better grass that part. Uh, the story building down here, Ulysses, is uh, getting right soon to drive by, making quite a bit of progress. They're getting there. Haven't got the roof on yet, but they're, they're, they're on, in the progress on that. That'll still take several more months. And it's all, all started right soon. Ulysses, Detail, Baker. Is going to have a site improvement here on the way if we can get the weather to cooperate and make some progress. But uh, we're slowly getting there on those two things uh, at this point. That's all Thank, Thank you very you much, Mark. Mark. Questions for Mark? No. Thank you very much again, Mark. And at this time, I'll again turn the meeting over to our borough solicitor. Thank you, Mayor. Under our consent agenda, we have the following resolutions for approval tonight, beginning with resolution 67. Resolution of the Borough of Glassboro confirming sale of land to Michael Mincer for borough-owned land known as Block 481, Lot 7, Truman Avenue, for the total sum of $5,000. Resolution 68, authorizing shared services agreement between the Gloucester County Improvement Authority and the Borough of Glassboro regarding usage of certain stage units for St. Anthony's Italian Festival. Resolution 69, Likewise, approving an agreement with the Gloucester County Improvement Authority for use of certain stage unit for the car show. Resolution 70, similar resolution, shared service agreement with the Gloucester County Improvement Authority, the Borough of Glassboro for use of certain stage unit, 2024 Main Street Music and Arts Festival. Resolution 71, authorizing submission of a grant application to New Jersey Department of Community Affairs, local recreation improvement grant for New Street Dog Park Upgrade, Resolution 72, Resolution of the Borough of Glassboro authorizing execution of 2024 Safety Contract, Gloucester Salem and Cumberland County Municipal Joint Insurance Fund, and Resolution 7324 authorizing approval of a 20% or more change order number one for a highway garage roof replacement project in the borough. They are resolutions under our consent agenda this evening, also for the reasons noted under the resolutions on the agenda, if Council moves for approval, roll call vote. Motion for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Costa. Yes. Mrs. Garlick. Yes. Mr. Halter. Four. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. And may we have one ordinance on introduction tonight by title only, that is Ordinance 2407. An ordinance authorizing the transfer of property known as Block 52, Lot 16.04, also known as 147 South Academy Street, an official tax map of the Borough of Glassboro County of Gloucester, State of New Jersey, to Gloucester County Habitat for Humanity, a nonprofit corporation of the State of New Jersey, pursuant to NJSA 481221, I believe that's L. <laughs> and that's the ordinance for introduction. If Council so moves, Roll call vote. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Costa. Yes. Mrs. Scarlett. Yes. Mr. Foster. Four. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. Uh, at this time, I'll entertain a, a motion to open up the public portion. Move the public portion be open. Second. Okay. A motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. The floor is now open to anyone from the public who wishes to come forward and address mayor and council. Seeing none, I will make a motion to close the public portion. And I will second that motion. I have a motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve all duly authorized bills. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? May I have two abstentions? 24-00242 and 24-00285. Uh, 
Very nice. Yes. Any other abstentions? They've been noted. Motion still carries. Uh, any closing comments from our borough administrator? I do, Mayor. Thank you. I think it's appropriate. We're three weeks into our, our parking in the downtown, and I thought, it, you know, based on your direction, I'd, I'd give a little bit of report on it. So, again, why did we do the parking in the downtown, first of all? At the direction of mayor and council, as you all know, the downtown, Glassboro, has been growing. Rentals have been growing. The growth is, is just there. Parking is, is a problem. Not only is the downtown growing, it's going to continue to grow by both the, uh, the town and the university. Mayor and council thought it important to create an infrastructure now that will help with parking going in the future. What was happening is people were parking in spots, they're parking there eight hours. Parking in the downtown is designed to get in and get out. Businesses were getting hurt. That's why, that's why the parking was put in place. Second, Nexus. Everyone, what I'm hearing, ne where, what's Nexus' involvement? I will tell you that parking is very complicated. When we started doing this, I thought we could do it ourselves. And I made the recommendation to mayor and council that we need someone with a level of expertise, which Nexus had. So Nexus um, has helped us implement the parking, and they're also helping us enforce the parking. Another rumor I'd like to squash in regards to the parking is this is a money grab. <coughs> It's the, it's the furthest thing from a money grab. If we wanted this to be a money grab, we would have started writing tickets day one, January 22nd. To the best of my knowledge, we have not written <coughs> a single ticket yet. I don't even believe we've written a single warning. Now, that's going to change, but I wanted to squash any rumors out there that this was a money grab. We could have made a lot of money, but that was not the intent of this. The intent of this is to have people turn over their parking and feed the businesses. So talk about money grab. Let's talk about the fees. First of all, throughout town, 30 minutes is free in the downtown. If you go into the lot, the borough-owned lot, two hours is free. The reason the two hours is free, if you have to come in here and you're paying us your tax money or you're paying your water bill, we don't want to be charging you on top of that. The reason we even have a fee in that lot at all is because if we had a fee in all of our other lots and not in here, where do you think all the cars are going to migrate? They would migrate to here. So again, it's 30 minutes free no matter where you go, and it's two hours in this lot. The one thing I will say to you is you still have to register. So there is a little bit of a learning curve for the app. I sit here every day. I have seen people come in, pay their taxes. We don't know how to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't know how to do it. We've simplified the process here. Just bring us your license plate number. We'll enter it in for you. You'll get a notice if you want it. You don't have to worry about it. I've volunteered. If you forget it, I will run out and get your license plate. That's how easy we've, we've, we've tried to make this. The fees themselves, it's a dollar per hour after your first half hour free. And then the next two hours are three dollars per hour. And again, it's not a money grab. We could have made these higher. There's no need to. All we're trying to do is turn over the parking places, the parking spots. This next one, overnight, I, you know, I get to work 8 o'clock. Sometimes I'm at Angelo's at 7. That parking lot is full. People who have complained and have talked to me about parking, I tell them, I said, if someone parked on your driveway overnight, every single night, would you be okay with that? Because you're going to have to pave it, you're going to have to maintain it. People go, no, I won't. Well, taxpayers in the town, there's people parking on your lot every single night that you have to maintain and you have to pay taxes for. Now, we're not oblivious to the fact where are these cars going to go. Well, you can still park there, but there's going to be an $8 overnight fee to park there. I will tell you right now that is not being enforced, and that will be getting enforced in the future. It will be getting enforced. Again, we've tried to give everyone ample time to get acclimated to this parking. What happens to the money? That's another great one. So what we'd like to do with this, and Mayor, I hope you don't mind. This, yep. this, this is the mayor's, at the mayor's direction. He had come to me and said, how can, we, how can we fix parking? Not only in the downtown, but in neighborhoods. Well, it's real hard to fix it in the neighborhoods between 2 and 6 o'clock in the morning because we can't have code enforcement people going out doing it. Strange things can happen at night. If we do turn a profit on this, it is mayor and council's intent to use this money to hire two select special, they're called 
special police officers who can go in the neighborhoods and enforce the parking in the neighborhoods. That's really why this parking was done. And again, today is what, February 13th? We started January 22nd. Not one ticket has been issued. I'm not saying that's not going to change. It is going to change. But this is not a money grab. We wanted everyone to get acclimated. So what's going on? Like, so you, you did this. Is everyone not going downtown anymore? And obviously that's a concern of ours because if our intent is to turn the spark parking spots over and generate more people downtown, we don't want to keep people away. So we too, we started this the week of January 22nd. That's basically become our baseline. Week two, we saw 4.1% more people register than week one. And when I say register, you can register to park, but you still don't have to pay because you have 30 minutes free. Week, two, week three, we saw a 1% increase over week, over week one. Now, a little bit down from week two, but again, I'm in the community every day. I hear it. I hear it at the diner. People know that we're not enforcing. We know. They know we're not enforcing. So that's why I think you see, you're seeing it decline. Once we start issuing some warnings, I think you're going to see it pick back up. Saturdays are our busiest days, followed by Fridays. Again, we're concerned with people going downtown. This past Friday was our highest Friday since we started with people registering. 20% of the registered users are using the 30 minute free. So what we saw is when we first did this, people didn't know how to do it. It was like 8%, 9%, 10%. It grew every day. And now 20% of the people registering for parking are putting the 30 minutes in and getting it free. Rowan Boulevard, which some of you may know, it's, it's, it's a big hurdle for us to control, not only from parking, from parties, from pop-ups, everything that's going on here. We figured that the majority of this parking would be there, and 67% of people registering for parking are registering there. I'm going to knock on wood. Since we've done this, we haven't had any problems on Rowan Boulevard. Now, not to say this week something won't happen, but that's another sign in the right direction. Our busiest time of day and this, this surprised me because I thought it would be in the evening is between 12 and 6 p.m. That's when we see the most cars registering. There's a couple more things and I'll be done, Mayor, I promise. Take your time. The busiest lot is South Poplar Street lot, which is behind us. And that makes sense to us too. That's the coffee shop, people running in, getting 30 minutes, getting out. And the other thing, you know, we, we were asked a lot of times, a lot of people don't have smartphones, don't know how to do it. So we bought four kiosks, and quite frankly, the kiosks are expensive. And Nexus actually advised us against it. A kiosk costs $5,000. We put four of them in. Only 10% of the people who are registering for parking are going to the kiosk. But when I brought it to mayor and council, their concern was we got to take care of all the people. So the kiosk not only takes credit cards, but it takes quarters. You could put eight quarters in there and you got two hours. You could put four quarters in there, you have an hour. So all in all, that's, that's an update on parking. Again, 30 minutes free, a dollar an hour. It's not a money grab. We have not issued a ticket. So contrary to what you may be hearing, it was to control the growth of the town and to create an infrastructure that will further control the support of the growth in the downtown. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, Ed. Very nice. Uh, my closing comments, just to uh, follow up with what uh, our borough administrator has said, is that uh, instituting this parking um, was no easy task. Um, took months, months, and months and months to plan this and roll this out. And through the entire process, our administration, staff, all those involved in implementing this parking should be commended and up to and including going above and beyond for all of our residents to make sure that everybody is as comfortable as we could possibly make this transition. Uh, like Ed had said, uh, we had, nobody's been given tickets yet. We want to make sure we have staff that's going out with people actually walking out and walking them through these apps. You don't see this. when. Parking is implemented in other municipalities because I've done my research. It's rolled out 
and you just got to figure it out. So kudos to our administration and all the staff that have worked very hard to try to make this transition, uh, necessary transition, um, as painless as possible. I'd like to thank the residents and all involved working with us for your patience and tolerance. We'll get through this together. Uh, I'd like to thank all those that have showed up this evening to participate or just to be here and, and take it all in. Thank you. We encourage you to continue to come. And with that, I'll entertain a motion, motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. This meeting is now adjourned. Thank you very much, everyone. The next regular meeting will be February 27, 2024, 6 p.m. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a pump fake next time and just go and not.